Some major U.S. cities are taking extra steps to help combat possible terror attacks today. In Boston, officials fear a Brussels-style copycat attack at this year's marathon, which is set for Monday. The event already has heightened security following the bombings three years ago. And in Washington, D.C., the FBI and Department of Homeland Security are working with restaurants and bars to take preemptive measures to thwart a Paris-style attack. CBS News senior national security analyst Juan Zarate joins us from Washington. And Juan, from a security standpoint, what do you think the main concern is for Boston ahead of Monday's race? I think there are a couple of concerns, Elaine. Uh, Boston and the Boston Marathon now have become a signature target given the prior attack, but also the reality that uh, we know that a mass number of individuals will, will attend, will obviously sponsor. And so it becomes a, a potential target, a symbolic target for terrorists who are wanting to instill fear and certainly want to demonstrate that. Uh, despite security, they're able to potentially get at a, a target like that. So that's one thing. The second is what you described, which is a concern over copycat or uh, demonstration effect terrorism. That is uh, somebody who may want to act both to reenact what happened before, but also to take advantage uh, of, of the example of what's happened in places like Paris and Brussels. And so authorities are worried about the symbolism of the, of the site and the fact that it's a potential target, of course. But secondly, the fact that you're, we're in a period of potential copycat or demonstration terrorism in the wake of recent attacks. So, Juan, given what you just said, what kind of changes are being made at major events like the Boston Marathon and Patriots Day to ensure security? Well, I think there, there are three areas of, of improvement, Elaine, that you've seen. One is greater awareness, just public awareness about security around these kinds of events, understanding uh, that they could be targets of terrorism. And obviously, in the wake of the Boston Marathon attack, uh, people in Boston are very aware of that. Two, uh, more screening uh, that's happening at various choke points and areas around these key sites, especially where people will congregate. And three, more intelligence gathering both before the event uh, and during. And that, that probably includes more behavioral analysis, some use of new technologies, all of which is an attempt to get in front of any attack and to find or ferret out those who may be trying to attack uh, those who are participating or attending. And so those are the, the types of things to create layers of defense, deterrence, awareness, as well as detection that uh, the authorities in Boston and federal authorities will be engaged in. What about specific venues like baseball stadiums, concert halls? Um, they can take precautions too. Absolutely. And I think, again, we've seen in the wake of both Brussels and Paris, actually both Paris attacks that we've wit witnessed over the last year and a half, the fact that these soft targets, these social centers, these uh, areas where people congregate, whether it's sports stadiums or restaurants or clubs, uh, concert halls, uh, could potentially be targets. And that these terrorists are seeing these venues as as ways of disrupting psychologically, economically, and politically the lives of major American cities. And so that's why you then have authorities reaching out to these private venues to raise awareness and to think through what their security protocols are uh, and how they might react to a potential attack.